Scorpio. Scorpio, how are you doing? It is time to bust out your April 2021 reading. April 2021 for Scorpio Universe. If you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading with me, please look in the description box of this video. That is the only way to schedule a personal reading with me. Okay? There's only one way. You got to look in the description box of the video. Okay? I will not visit you in the comments and tell you to hit me up on WhatsApp. Those are scammers doing that. Please report them and block them. Please look in the description box of the video. Let's hop right into this. Scorpio, what happened in the past? What's the past energy for Scorpio Universe? April 2021. Oop, oop, there we go. Okay, the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Could have been an Earth sign for some of you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Could be anybody. Let's get three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. Oh, three of cups. Could have been a third party situation for some of you. Five of pentacles reversed and the death card. All right. Okay, so you didn't really want this to come to an end. Yeah, yeah. You didn't really want this to come to an end, but you know, either this had already turned into something very toxic with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, one thing that I'm noticing with a lot of these past energies, I learn a lot doing this, by the way. Y'all know that, right? Me doing this for a living, I learn just as much as I teach. Oh, yeah. One thing that I, I, I learn is patterns, okay? And one thing I'm seeing a lot of here lately with reading past energy is in the past, it looks like lots and lots of people hung on to a situation longer than they should have, okay? Um, well, what I'm really seeing here is I don't know if it had completely turned full-on toxic but if it hadn't yet it was going to okay it could be a uh, Capricorn that you're dealing with I also have Scorpio could be another Scorpio but with the five of Pentacles in the reverse here and and next to the death card this didn't end the way you wanted it to some of you didn't really want it to end at all okay some of you didn't want it to end at all the two of you weren't a very good team not really and I really feel like there was a big walking on eggshells type of energy that you just didn't really want to be around okay um, it, it, you know, you could have been around the type of person that <clears throat> you constantly had to watch what you say, you know, that feeling of, uh, oh, am I going to say the right thing? You know, like, like that constant walking on eggshells. If I say this, are you going to explode, get pissed off or get upset and start crying or, you know what I mean? And there was a lot of, of, of really, really heavy energy of, of being guarded, you know, and having your guard up and looking over your shoulder and walking on eggshells and tiptoeing through the tulips. And I just... That's just became redundant after a while, you know. Um, I mean, that's okay. We all have our bad days, you know what I mean? But I just feel like this is something that was ongoing for, for way too long, and you, you decided to just go ahead and walk away from this. Or maybe they did. Somebody just turned and walked away from this because this, this tense energy, again, was either already feeling incredibly toxic to you or you know, okay, well, if this goes on any further, this is just going to start poisoning my soul, you know. Again, I'm really sensing for a lot of you there could have been a third party involved. When I say that, that doesn't necessarily have to mean infidelity. I mean, it, it could, but uh, take that how it resonates, if it resonates. I mean, any third party, okay? Somebody shoving their nose between the two of you in, in the situation that, uh, uh, you know, didn't really need to be there, you know? Could be your mama putting her two cents in. Could have been your daddy, your brother, your cousin. Somebody in there shoving their nose where it doesn't belong. And there was definitely a lot of tension there as far as that goes. Could have been another outside influence really um, contributing to the tense, the, the tension in this situation. But I also kind of feel, too, like, um, again, that they're, they're, this third party could have come in, like, near the end of it, too, for some of you. Because I do see new communication. It's not new now, but at the time, it looked like some new communication was happening there. Like, some of you could have walked away and started talking to somebody new, you know? Okay, well, let's take a look at how this person feels about you in the current moment. How does this person view Scorpio Universe? How do they see you in the current moment? How do they feel about you? What are their true intentions? How do they perceive this situation? Do, 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 do. Nine 
of swords reversed. They're not really losing any sleep over this anymore. It probably was bothering them for quite some time. You know, could have been an air sign for some of you. Tor or not Taurus. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. That doesn't have to be, though. Let's get four shuffles here. One. Two. Two more. Mm, Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands reversed. Okay, so they do still have their eye on you. Oh, okay. I think you're going to hear from this person, okay? This person, okay, so they view you as the Nine of Cups in the reverse, which is emotionally codependent, okay? So how how is that a perception of you? They could view you as um, being the type of person maybe that always blames them. Like, it's always my fault when you're pissed off. You could be angry at, at anything out here, and it's my fault. And you expect me to fix it. You expect me to be there and cater to your every little emotional need. Now, does this mean this is what you're doing? Not necessarily, okay? That's the disclaimer here. This is just how this person perceives you. Like, you're too emotionally needy. Like, you depend on me to make you happy all the time. And I can't make you happy, you know? Uh, but I do think that this person wants to talk to you. They want to talk to you, and they may possibly want to try to reconcile. Uh, it's going to be a little bit, okay, because I see them kind of back and forth as to whether or not to reach out. They've been, they've been keeping their eye on you. They still have an eye on you, okay? Some of them have been uh, trying to date around and maybe see other people, and that's not been very successful, okay? Uh, but they're still kind of holding a grudge, though, at the end of the day. They're still pissed off. Like, whatever it was that happened between the two of you, they're still holding on to that resentment and that anger, okay? But I do think they want to let their guard down. Maybe, for some of you, I know this isn't everybody, but for some of you, again, there was a third party involved, and maybe that third party isn't around anymore, you know? Oh, okay, well, I was talking to somebody, but, damn, that failed. So, I wonder if Scorpio has calmed down yet, you know? I wonder, I wonder, I just wonder if, if Scorpio's cool yet so that I can hit up Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see them actually coming forward, for a while, okay? It, I really think that all this is going to be pushed way later on down the line, but I really feel like they do want to talk to you and more than likely try to put an end to the negativity, but they're still holding on to it. That's the weird thing. That's the weird thing here, you know? They still got that Six of Cups reversed right in the heart of the spread here. Okay, well, let's see what actions this person is going to take. What action will this person take towards Scorpio Universe? What action will this person take? High Priestess, okay. They're trying to intuitively feel you out, I think. Um, and even at that, well, hang on, hang on. Four shuffles. One, two, two more. Okay, seven of wands reversed. All right, yep, I do think you're going to hear from this person, okay? But I don't really think that they're opening up 100%. I still think that they are, um, yep, yep. Okay, there's that nine of cups reversed again. So I still think that they are um, kind of holding back a little bit. You know, they're keeping a lot of things to themselves. See, this is that type of energy that feels like I, I wanna, I'm going to hit you up and I'm going to start a conversation with you. I'm going to ping I'm going to I'm going to play a game of ping pong with you. I'm going to ping you the ball and hopefully maybe you'll try to reconcile with me. You know the 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 the, the intention here is to the intention is an apologetic intention, a uh, a reconciliation intent an intention, but I'm not opening all the way up and saying that. You know what I mean? That kind of sketchy whenever somebody talks to you and you can feel you can feel the hint behind them. You can feel they're hinting towards something. You can feel that there's a lot more in it. You know what I mean? And that, that, uh, that, I don't know about you personally, but that drives me absolutely insane when people do that shit. Oh, my God, that drives me insane. But, uh, okay, they got nine of cups reversed here too, so maybe it's them that's emotionally codependent. Maybe they're projecting it on you, okay? But I do see there being a lot of codependency and energy here. 
Okay, some of you are dealing with somebody who's very, very needy and possibly a bum, too, for some of you. I know that every time I say that, somebody says, yes, yes, I am dealing with a bum. Somebody that doesn't really make very much money, and maybe, maybe some of you make good money, and they just kind of want to bum and mooch off of you, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Could be an Aquarius for some of you, but hmm, I really don't know if they're going to, if, if that doorway is open, though. I really don't see them like really coming forward with a lot of passion and really trying to make it right. It just looks more like the actions they're going to take is going to be much more like a, a hinting type of, you know, I may just like one, like this is just for example, like maybe I'm going to hit like on your, on your picture on Facebook or I'm going to give you a little Instagram selfie, a heart. Okay. And wait and wait and wait. Then the next thing you know, you get a little message. Hey, how you been? What's up? <laughs> you know, and you can just feel, okay, why are you hitting me up? What you just, I don't know any way, any words to describe that feeling of there's more to this than what you're actually, you know, bringing me, you know, so why don't you just open up and say it? But I don't see them doing that. They're still kind of, feels a little bit childish to me, honestly. Well, okay, let's take a look at the most likely outcome here. Most likely outcome for Scorpio Universe. Most likely outcome. Do, 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 Okay. All right, the two of wands in the reverse. Okay, so it looks like a, a final decision is definitely going to be made here. Let's see what that is. Four shuffles. One. Two. Two more. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so I definitely see attempted reconciliation here. Nine of Cups upright. I think a lot of you, yeah, yeah, see five, okay, hang on. Seven of Wands, five of Wands reversed. A lot of you are still walking on eggshells here. A lot of you still feel that weird, awkward, tense energy, okay, and you don't want the conflict. You don't want the drama, okay, so, and, and, and High Priestess again. I know that, that every card has multiple meanings, but this really had a strong feeling of, um, keeping things to myself. Again, you're not opening all the way up and telling me exactly what it is. And at the end of the day, I feel you bringing back the same energy coming back around. Okay, you're bringing the same energy back to me that was there when the, when the separation happened. How many times y'all seen somebody do that shit? Come on now. We come together, something happens, boop, we separate. And then somebody attempts to reconcile, but they're bringing back the same energy that caused the situation, you know? It's like you keep playing the same games, you're going to keep winning the same prizes. And that's what I'm seeing here. So a lot of you are just going to prefer to be single, <clears throat> is what I'm thinking. A lot of you, are, and again, that's not everybody, but it's still emotional independence can manifest in many different ways. Even if you're not single, you can still be very emotionally independent, you know? I don't depend, even if I am in a relationship, I don't depend on them to be my only source of fulfillment. You know, absolutely, we're, we're here to support each other and share our love with each other. But if, I, if I'm empty and lonely, it's not their job to fulfill me. You know, that's very emotionally independent energy. But some of you, I think, are just kind of like, no, nah, no, nah, man. I'm just, I want to be single right now. You know, all this shit, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that. I think you're going to turn this person down. King of Cups in the reverse. Okie dokie. Advice. What advice do we have for Scorpio? April 2021. Advice, 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 advice. Okay, ooh, the five of swords in the reverse. Mm. Don't be afraid to tell them what time it is, boy. I'm going to tell you what. Hang on. Don't, okay. Those of you who have been following me for a while, I've talked about this a lot. Hang on. We have to find a balance here. I'm not saying, I'm not advocating conflict. But I'm also saying don't just turn and run away from a confrontation because you're scared, basically, you know. And I've never really met too, too many Scorpios that do. But just in case you're wondering whether or not you're doing the right thing, 
Um, hang on. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering whether or not you're doing the right thing, if they don't don't like, if they're coming if they're coming at you bringing that same energy that they had in the past, call them out on that, dude. Call them out on that. Don't don't avoid somebody just to avoid conflict. If this con- conversation needs to be had, maybe this person needs to learn a lesson. And maybe you're the one that teaches them that lesson. Now, don't forget ever, ever, just because you're teaching somebody a lesson, don't you ever neglect what you learned from this, okay? Oh, don't you ever do that. If you ever want, if you, if the greatest teachers are always a student, always, 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 always. What did I learn? However, I do think that maybe this person, for, for their future path, for their next endeavor or their next relationship or whatever the case may be, maybe this is a very strong lesson that they need to learn, you know? And, you know, a lot of times connections are, are, are set up that way so that we come together and we separate, and that's the only way the lesson will be learned is if we separate. Because if I let you back in, you see this happen a lot too. You know, me and you get together, I do something really stupid, and causes a separation while I'm sitting here thinking about what I've done and I genuinely with all of my heart feel sorry I do and you see this happen a lot this is what makes people look like liars right I'm genuinely sorry with all of my heart I feel bad I feel horrible you know so I come back with every intention of honestly making things right but if you let me come back there's this little voice that says hey dude (laughs) you got away with that you got away with that I bet you can get away with it again and then, and then it repeats itself again, doesn't it? But at the time, while you were separated, I was being honest. I wasn't lying. I wasn't intentionally misleading you from the truth. But then when we came back around, that little voice started creeping up. You know? And that's what makes people look like a liar. When they weren't lying to begin with, they were being honest at the time, but then the tone changed when you let them come back. I really think you're teaching this person a lesson. <laughs> mm-hmm. Time for something new, Scorpio. Time for something new. Leave the past in the past. This connection has served its purpose. Could be a Gemini. Also have Sagittarius. This connection has served its purpose. You taught this person a very valuable lesson. If you let them come back, the lesson will not be learned. Okay? All right. Well, I feel like that was your message. I'm going to go ahead and cut this reading off here. I greatly appreciate every last one of you who tuned in and played along. Thank you all for all of the love and support that you show my channel on a daily basis. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video for information on how to schedule personal readings. And again, I can't stress this enough. That is the only way to get a personal reading with me is by communicating with me through email. I do not communicate on WhatsApp, um, and I I just don't, okay? Please report and block those people who are making those um, accounts pretending to be me, okay? So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all have a good day.